Welcome to this midweek reflection. During this season of Epiphany, each Sunday morning we are going to be focusing on a different psalm and we hope you'll join us either in person or online on this YouTube channel. But then each Wednesday, in addition, we're going to have a midweek reflection that will come out where we talk about another psalm. And so today, um, I begin with reading to you Psalm 46 from the Bible, and then you'll also hear it in a contemporary version afterwards. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. God utters God's voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations God has brought on the earth. God makes wars cease to the end of the earth. God breaks the bow and shatters the spear, burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. During this midweek reflection, we're going to introduce a contemporary version of each psalm. So hear now the words of Jennifer Garrison Brownell. O Holy One, your imagination is so much vaster than ours. You ask us to envision it. But we cannot imagine a world in which weapons shatter. Cannot yet imagine a time when AK-47s are not carried into classrooms while fourth graders hide in closets meant for art supplies. We cannot yet imagine a world without borders, cannot yet imagine a place where those who must cross those borders are not restrained in cages but are greeted with hospitable care. We cannot yet imagine a world without hatred cannot yet imagine an existence in which the rush of anger, vitriol, is more difficult to access than the slow necessity of love. Enlarge our imaginations, Holy One, that we might see the world that you have dreamed for us, the world in which weapons are an artifact of the past, the world in which borders are not merely an accepted truth, the world in which the harmony of love sings in every heart. In your many strong names we pray. Amen. What if today your prayer to God is this? Enlarge our imaginations, Holy One, 
that we might see the world that you have dreamed for us.